For 10,000 years, the Emperor's Inquisition have fought a secret war to defend humanity. We keep vigil in the darkness. We hunt among the shadows. We pass judgment upon the mutant, the traitor, and the heretic. We purge the world of the taint lurking among the stars. We are Inquisitors. We shall fear nothing. For we are what you fear. Hello everyone, my name is Eric and welcome to Inquisitor Martyr. I've been waiting for this game forever, or at least that's how it feels. And right now when I was going to record it, of course the servers were down for an update and some maintenance for a world event. And I don't know what they are yet, but it seems like I need to kill 5,000 rebels on Mountain Prime and a total of 50 million to shape the, the history of the Chernobog system. <laughs> Funny that they chose that name since it means Dark God in Slavic. It's actually a real character from Slavic mythology. Uh, I don't know much about this game because I've tried to keep out of all the updates because I was already hyped when it was um, when it was like um, announced back in Alpha. I think it's like one year, one and a half years ago. So I tried to stay out of it, and now I finally got it, and it's kind of cool. I realized you can create your own character. There are three classes, and I'm a little bit torn between the Psyker and the Crusader. Do I want to tank, or do I want to be sneaky, or do I want to be super sneaky? Let's have a look here. Before rising to the rank of Inquisitor, you served as a Primaris Psyker, drawing power from the Warp Shark, shaping reality with your mind. Psychers are sanctioned mutants, disdained yet essential to the Imperium. The channels are blah 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 blah. I get parasol warps, psychic powers, and force weapons, which are really freaking good. Oh, I get power armor here. I love me some power armor. That's a problem. Ugh. So I can choose between like. Uh, Tank, DPS, and DPS, I guess. Ooh, this is a hard one. But I love the idea of being able, you know, like Eisenhorn or Ravener, being able to use my psychic powers, so I'm going to play that. Oh, oh my god, there were even more choices here. Uh, Forza, Forza. <laughs> and the Shin Psychically React Armor Faces between. Here in real space. Uh huh. Pyrin armor, force staff. Can I turn them? Focus on force rod, warp bound armor. I think this is a bit high on my part, so I'm actually choosing the Crusader now. My brain not working. Tactical assault or heavy gun. I just want to see these. My god, this guy looks so freaking cool. Let's have a look at the assassin while we're at it. We have the Infiltrator, Sniper, or Eradicator. Damn, these are some really good looking models for, for the characters. The thing is that I like the idea of force weapons. So I am... Um, let's see now, was it the Aether Walker that had the Force Sword and Force Rod? This is just four staff, four staff and bolt pistol. Okay, I like that. Story mode. So let's do this. Uh, what should we call him? Well, of course, we're going to call him Gregorius. Because that just feels right with the theme and everything. Look at Gregorius there. Let's play this game. And this is going to be depending on how big it is, it's going to be a straight playthrough. Maybe I should shut up right now since it's a cutscene. Hey 
Hey, Judge Stred. Judge and his executioner. Inquisitor's log. Classified report for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. It has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Orders. It's authentic, but extremely old. The intensity of the Caligari warp searches is beyond anything I've experienced. There were many delays during the journey. But the coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave finally led me to this desolate system. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery. It got through the warp surges with considerable loss of data, and my astropath has been unable to decipher it. I will personally investigate the source of this mysterious signal. Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. Lal looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty halls. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... That's a good start. So, I remember the deafening roar of the turrets. My Imperial carrier was trailing a blaze of fire and smoke as it smashed into the hangar deck. I heard the screeching shredding metal, but, but the vast emptiness of the colossal hall swallowed the noise somehow, slowly, painfully. Can I read the rest of the story? Damn it. That kind of sucks, though. Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Box communication is jammed. And I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log in case I don't return. So, this is a smart signal log. New entry. While attempting to dock in the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. Right, so this is as far as I've understood it that it's going to be a bit like Diablo, in a way, its appearance. Looks really good. Listen to the sound effects too. What's it on? Movement! Left clicking, Alt left click to force your character to move regardless of what you clicked on. Okay. So if I do like this. So, okay. I can just do like this. It's really, really looking cool so far. I like what I see, everyone. I have my little map over here. Let's explore the area. Oh, this is a nice fog of war. Look at that. There's something I can Interesting. click. Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks, but having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door. Yes, it means a really high level of security. This makes me want to play the role-playing game. I guess the... Ooh, is, no, that's not... I mean, look at this! Look at the surroundings! This is incredible. What? What new tutorial? Camera controls. Oh, I thought it would be like standard isometric, nothing specific. Wow, okay. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can! Look at that! That's some nice stuff. Cogitator. Right? Uh, an ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. 
It might have information about this place. Worst case scenario, you can always beat it. Vessel 897 Lucius, 442 Alpha Class, I'm seeing. Name Marta. Let's roll the credits then. Current status in the possession of a holy orders of the Empress Inquisition. Verifying current status. Blah, blah, blah. Song, blah, blah, blah. Catalog and zones failed. Blah, blah. I can't. If you're good at um, uh, this, then please let me know what it says because I have no freaking idea. Oh, just as I suspected. It's a pile of rust. Well, at least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. Right, so we need to find more cogitators. I wonder when... New log entry. Bodies everywhere. The putrid stench of death. Horrible wounds still ooze blood. What unholy beast stalks these halls, I wonder? A chaos spawn? At least that's my guess. Ooh, a bolt pistol. Look at what that. Got here? A weapon? Well, the Emperor does protect his loyal subjects. So that's, uh, oh my god, that's a lot of information. Full auto, that's right click. And I have a fire bolt. And uh, misfortune. Self blessing. Changes armor category of heavily armored enemies. Alright, we'll, we'll see how this works out. I have no idea what to expect. Oh boy, something bad this way comes. Whoa, ho, ho. hi there, the Nurgle thingy. Well, let's cleanse your taint from here. Whoa, you look really freaking cool. Perish, fell. I feel the contagion of chaos seeping into the walls. I taste the despair in the air. This illness must be purged before it's too late. Um, determined by your equipped weapon, one-handed weapon can grant you two weapon skills for two-handed provide four. All right. Well, that's a bit of blah 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 blah. Well, full description there. That was kind of cool. Ooh, I even have a magazine. That's a nice touch. It's a blast pistol. Is it better than the thing I got? New tutorial. Weapon sets. You can equip two weapon sets for each mission. Press tab key to switch between them. Weapon switch and soft. Only a weapon skill. Uh -huh. So let's see now. Heat, laser, 41 damage. This one has 43. Short burst. Warp. Okay, so I have different. Uh -huh. Let's try it out for fun, just to see how this works out. Boom. Okay, so that's a small burst. Yes, it's really cool so far. Oh, that looks bad. That too. New room entry. I've found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a tech priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. God, there's the, the cannons. I'm, I'm just so impressed by all the background here. Over the defense system anomalies. Rank and security of Brother Marcus Diang. The martyr opened fire on an approaching rogue trader vessel, causing considerable damage and loss of life on the targeted ship. Teleportarium signals are regularly jammed, blocking entry and exit to and from the monastery. Conclusion! Uh huh. After thorough investigation and questioning, I can safely claim that no personnel were involved in the incident. The defense terrorists who opened fire without any human involvement and the signal blocking any teleportation attempt is generated automatically. Probable cause, system malfunction. Blah 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 blah, okay. I found new information. 
There's an emergency Ooh. cogitator nearby where I could turn off the jamming signals. Let's see now. Clues. The cage. I am stranded on the hangar deck on the fortress monastery. Oh, it's a reward if I unsold this. The teleport. Clues for the Cool. This is something I haven't seen before. So I can find clues as I go along. Right. And there's the tutorials. Is there anything else? Is that? Can I do something with myself? <laughs> uh, switch to tactical. Okay. It means mount. Is there a way for me? What's this? That's warp heat. I guess there is a level situation because I have a little level indicator here. Switch weapons inoculator. I don't have any charges stuff. I wish there was a way for me to s where it said like menu. Can I do like this? No. Tutorial? No, that's tactical. I was hoping for some kind of like hotkeys for for how to do stuff. So is there anything I can do? Nope. Let's move on then. Okay. No, there's no slowing down in I mean, look at all these dead bodies. That's really bad. And I guess they were... Oh, that's a nice touch. I guess they were having some really... Is this Dark Mechanicum? Perhaps? Let me through. Open the door. Yes. It is in the walls now. Everywhere. Taint. In the... Machines. Oh, by the Emperor. What foul abomination is this? Yes, that's a very good question. A servitor sputtering gibberish. I smell corruption. Exciting. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I smell corruption. Exciting. Mm. There's some nice Nurgle stuff going on here. Unbound Ravager. Kills cultist regular. Can I use any of the, like, hmm, protecting myself? Whoa, there's a lot of them. Foul heretics. Let my powers cleanse you from your sins. Okay. That was bad. I think we'll change to the bolter. Bad idea. Okay, this is the downside of using both the movement cursor and the uh, Okay, so flanking is a good idea, but the movement cursor is not a good way to get around here. Shooting and firing, shooting and moving with the same cursor is kind of detrimental at times, and this will this will take me some time. Uh, I can use some ammunition, which means that I need to reload, and then we have the overheat that. Press shift and shoot or strike to st oh, right. I can press shift to stand still. Didn't think of that. That's also a classic one. Oh, look at that. I can. Uh, yes, I didn't know that. But now I know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe is heresy. Oh, I can use spacebar to cover. Okay, I did not know that. That's really helpful. Damn, if I had known that at the beginning of combat, but I'm going to try and remember that now, at least. What do we have over here? Finally, that's the cogitator that will disable the jammer. Oh. I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, I need to do something finally. about this. I thought Whoa, we'd lost hi you. there. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back, but who would clear my name if you died in battle? Your loyalty is quite admirable, Captain. I also realize that my image probably is covering the top part where you can see my status. So 
I'll move that to the next play part of the playthrough. Let's just start up the next part of the chapter. Okay, we're out here. Look at that. How nice. We're on we're outside on the martyr. I have some credits and fate points. I'll probably learn some of this a little bit later on. It seems to be a have some MMORPG elements, which I like because I read that there are also like co-op op uh, possibilities in the game. I'm going to read more about that at a later point. But that's it for this episode, so I hope you liked what you saw in the first level. So thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment down here. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!